What up, guys? Today we are going to test ChatGPT basically through API, GPT Turbo 128K context. And that's amazing. It was announced today. And we're going to test it through different environments and with different simulators. As you may know, our website is full of awesome simulators that you could use. And um, these simulators could use any sort of la large language model. And it could have APIs connected to them. And they could be like different ways of variables. Like for example, let's say if there's only size and distance of like a simulator, you could just simply change those two instead of one giant prompt. And yeah, so we're going to test this first with nothing to just see if the speed is worth it or not. Generally, when I tested it first, it was very slow. So let's see how it works right now. Let me just turn it back to standard. And yeah, let's say hi. As you can see, this is really slow. Um, and this is like not a giant prompt, right? This is like a single request. It might be because it was released today. So obviously it's like a preview and people are still working on it. So it's like a busy server and there, everyone is like testing it out, right? So, but like, let's bring the simulation to a different level. Let's say with, for example, let's say maps and geospatial data, right? If we test it through that functionality, it would be great. Okay, so we're here. Let's just quickly change this to OpenAI, which is the recent model. And let's just say, create a map of London. And this is a way more complex simulation that is doing right now. It's all instructed in the back end. Um, but yeah, if it's successful doing that, then it's good for speed. But right now it actually takes a lot of time to load, which is like really weird. It has to be super fast because it's called turbo, right? Yeah. So it's not, it's taking its time, waiting, 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 waiting. I should find a way to entertain you guys as this things are like doing their job, right? <laughs> Like that's the best thing I can do as a human when AI is doing my job. Yeah. So as you can see, the code is awesome. Um, I'm sure there's a way that you could specify if you want output to be JSON. So yeah, you could test that out, but so far wasn't successful. We're already four minutes recording. Obviously this is shorter, but let's try different things. Let's try this NASA plan simulator. Okay. So if I go here, there's like a destination and deadline. I just have to change this to and the deadline should be 2026. Let's see what this one does. Obviously, it's really busy today, so I'm not going to judge, but it's not working. Sorry. I mean, if you even just try the original one, just see how long it takes. It doesn't even. Yeah. Okay, so it's doing something here. Okay, let's say generate some practical text. Let's see what that does. A 
Oh, it's so tiring. It doesn't even recognize. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, I waited for like 10 minutes. I mean, we're like almost 9.30, so it's 10 minutes. I would still use older models just because this one is introduced today. So apparently it's super crowded. But let's go watch some videos and see what else we can find. Maybe everybody knows that it's already slow. We'll use computers in the future. And we think this is an interesting early example. So I'd like to show you how to build one. All right. So I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. I'm going to go to create a GPT here. And this drops me into the GPT builder. Uh, I worked with founders for years at YC. We've made it so that you can program a GPT just by having a conversation. We believe that natural language is going to be a big part of how people use computers in the future. And we think this is an interesting early example. So I'd like to show you how to build one. All right. So I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. Um, I'm going to go to create a GPT here. And this drops me into the GPT builder. Uh, I worked with founders for years at YC. And still, whenever I meet developers, the questions I get are always about, how do I you know, think about a business idea? Can you give me some advice? Uh, I'm going to see if I can build a GPT to help with that. So to start, GPT Builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice after the founder has gotten some advice. Uh, grill them <laughs> on why they are not growing faster. All right. So to start off, I just tell the GPT a little bit about, about what I want here. And it's going to go off and start thinking about that. And it's going to write some detailed instructions for the GPT. Uh, it's also going to, let's see, ask me about a name. How do I feel about Startup Mentor? That's fine. Uh, that's good. So if I didn't like the name, of course, I could call it something else. But it's you know, going to try to have this conversation with me and, and start there. And you can see here on, uh, on, on the right in the preview mode that it's already starting to fill out the GPT, where it says what it does. It has some like ideas of additional questions that I could ask. And <laughs> you know what? I actually, so it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. So I will say, that's great. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. Now, what I want this to do, um, how it can interact with users, I could talk about style here. But what I'm going to say is, I am going to upload transcripts of some lectures about startups I have given. Please give advice based off of those. So now uh, it's going to go figure out how to do that. And I would like to show you the Configure tab. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by, by the builder itself. And you can see that there's capabilities here that I can enable. Um, I could add custom actions. These are all fine to leave. Um, I'm going to upload a file. Uh, so here is a lecture that I picked that I used to that I gave with some startup advice, um, and I'm going to add that here. In terms of these questions, this is a dumb one. The rest of those are reasonable, uh, and like very much things founders often ask. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive with feedback. All right. So again, if we had more time, I'd show you a bunch of other things. But this is, uh, this is like a decent start. And now uh, we can try it out over on this preview tab. So I will say, um, what's a common question? What are three things to look Oops. What are three things to look for when hiring employees at an early stage startup? Now it's going to look at that document I uploaded. Um, it'll also have, of course, all of the background knowledge of GPT-4. That's pretty good. Those are three things that I definitely have said many times. Um, now, we could go on, and it would start following the other instructions and you know, grill me on why I'm not growing faster. But in the interest of time, I'm going to skip that. Uh, I'm going to publish this only to me for now. Uh, I can work on it later. I can add more content. I can add a few actions that I think would be useful. Um, and then I can share it publicly. 
So that's what it looks like to create a GPT. With, thank you. That was nice. We've made it so that you can. You understand what that means? This is perfection. We're now able to create everything within one chat. Okay, this simulator that you're seeing right here is what I actually worked on. And today I tested it with GPT 428K Turbo, right? So as you can see, there's like 4,000 words here. I can go up to like, I don't know how much I want, but it's it actually did a great job. Like the reasoning, the keywords, everything that I was really instructed the simulator, it did it all. And this is how I know that it's going to the right direction. GPT is definitely getting better and better. And a lot of these um, AI simulators that we actually built, they rely on the accuracy of these models. So if they don't really generate the exact code, it's not going to work. It's not going to show up. And we wanted to generate these kind of like awesome responses. So we feed them the response as an example, right? So yeah, keep working on it, but it's definitely busy for the next couple of few um, days. So see how it works for you. I can see a lot of potential just for builders. It's worth it. Take care.